Okay, everyone, welcome to another uh, Arduino for me tutorial. Today we will be going over the Blink example um, that's on the Arduino website. They are one of the Arduino examples. This is probably for beginners, uh, not advanced learners. So if you're a beginner, this video is perfect for you. Uh, let me just plug in some power and then show you what this circuit does. Um, so we're actually going to be making these two LEDs, the green and the red. We're going to be making them blink, just like that. Alright. So, uh, let's go over this circuit and um, I'll show you what it does. And, well, why it does that. Okay. So... Right now, I've told the Arduino board that I want it to emit voltage uh, and then wait for a few seconds, or for one second, um, and then emit turn off voltage, and then wait one second, and then emit voltage again. So that's what gives it that blink effect. Uh, so let me show you what the circuit is for this. We have two jumpers, one in ground and one in 13. Now ground on your Arduino board looks like G and D. It says uh, it's G, on, G and D on the side. And pin 13, it says pin 13 on the side. So we're going to plug that in just like that. Now uh, the ground is turning um, this row here. Let me see if I can turn it this direction. The ground is turning um, this row here that the resistor that this one end of the resistor is on turning that into ground. So now that's grounded and LEDs always have to be grounded along with well basically everything all your circuits have to be grounded so this is our means of grounding it. You gotta have a resistor on your ground so this resistor is a 330 resistor. Um, the other end of the resistor is going on the same row as this red LED. Same row. Um, now if you're unfamiliar with how breadboarding works, please uh, check out my breadboarding video to learn how that works before uh, continuing this video. Alright, um, this green LED here, I'll turn it this way, this green LED is then plugged with this jumper onto that same row that this red LED is being grounded on onto this 330 resistor. So that's that's the red LED and the green LED getting grounded there. Okay, and um, there also needs to be a connection, a communication of voltage between the board and the LED. So that's what these other pins are for. This pin, um, this here, this is connected to your red LED and it's in the same row as this black cable which is going into pin 13 and this jumper is connected in the same row as this green LED now something I wanted to point out with the LEDs is that they're polarized now that means that there's a negative pin or side and a positive pin or side and you have to get it right the negative is the shorter side the positive is the longer side. Um, can't really tell in the video, but you have to put the shorter side or the negative on the ground. Has to be on the ground. The ground has to be on that side, and the positive has to be on the other side. So make sure you don't get that messed up, and you should be good. All right. Um, well, that ends this very quick basic tutorial on that blink circuit. Um, you can find this breadboard and everything that I've used in this tutorial and all my others on the website by buying the kit, the SunFounder kit. It's only $22 and it's got everything that you'll need for all my tutorials. I strongly encourage you buy it. Um, you can find the link to that kit on my website and the link to my website below. You can go to the projects page on my website and click, click the kit. Purchase the kit. Alright, this has been Arduino for me, and I will see you in the next tutorial. See you later.